course, is Wednesday, the 7th day of August 2013. And I've got a big stack of news articles here that have been coming out, even ABC News, in the last couple of days. Uh, young women's ovaries destroyed by Gardasil. Merck forgot to research, that's a quote, side effects of vaccine on female reproduction. Uh, we posted this story a couple days ago on Infowars.com. And I guess it's good sometimes that somebody reposted it. Uh, sometimes mistakes are good because I saw it again uh, this morning and, and was reminded that I had not covered that. So I, I'm going to get to, you know, things like this that are very serious that, you know, that aren't really the big news of the day, which they tend to distract us with, uh, but are very, very serious for everybody out there to discuss exactly what's going on with Gardasil. Also, we've got a special report uh, with uh, Gigi uh, coming up here in just a moment dealing with the uh, mass uh, overpass demonstrations. Over 1,700 out in L.A. Uh, it's got to be over 100 people out in Austin at different locations at different times all over the city. All over the country this happened. There's more today, so we have info up on that. Uh, they're calling to impeach Obama. We're going to be playing that report in about a minute. Also, disgusting uh, Homeland Security uh, ads, b billboards and posters going up, you know, showing good-looking women. Uh, sexy women uh, reporting on people, how sexy and cool it is to be part of the new uh, Stasi, Nazi, Soviet chic. Uh, that report up on Infowars.com and how it ties into uh, more mainstream media now reporting and the EFF Foundation as well. Uh, that yes, uh, the government is spying on all of you for petty crimes with the NSA. Yeah, that, that's a fact. It's there to make sure their criminal operations, their money laundering, child kidnapping, uh, murder for hire doesn't get stopped. That's the main mission and to steal patents and ideas. But that's all now mainstream news. Uh, and we have a man on the street coming up where a bunch of Austinites just beg to be total slaves. We'll cover that at the bottom of the next hour. We've got G.A. Griffin coming on today as well. But we're going to go out to break with this InfoWars nightly news report from last night on these spontaneous uh, demonstrations that are starting up all over the country. Here it is. I'm Gigi Arnetta reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News. And we're standing here on an overpass at Maynard Drive in Austin, Texas, where people are honking for Obama's impeachment. So what gave you guys this idea? This is a national movement. Um, we started by James Neighbors, who's up in Oklahoma. We now have, uh, we've got groups like this in all 50 states. And yeah, we're just out here trying to wear, raise people's awareness a little bit and get them uh, woken up to what's going on with the Obama administration and trying to try to get him out of office. So you believe that these are definitely not phony scandals? Definitely not. They're, they're felonies, you know, and, and we elect these folks to govern us, but not to rule us. And we have a constitution to limit the federal government's power, and they're just shredding the constitution daily. I want to know how many people are out there that would like to be doing something. They get frustrated. They say, well, I'm going to do something tomorrow, and I'm going to do something today, something that's going to count. You know, you got to get out of the, from behind the computer and go out and try to get some things done. We're, we're in a neighborhood where people actually told us, that, oh, no, you don't want to go out there. You know, there, there are too many people for Obama out there, but we're, <laughs> but we're getting a great response, and, and we're going to stay out here as long as we can. I'm going to be out here every chance I get. I took off work for this today. I mean, I'd take off work if I was sick or if I had a sick child. The Republic's sick. It needs help. That's what I'm here for. One group near Los Angeles has 1,780 people. 1,780 people. That's incredible. One group. And if you go to overpasses.org, you can find out more information about the event they're having August 17th. Get out and help. Help change what's happening to our Constitution. I'm Gigi Arnetta reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. G. Edward Griffin, who for more than 45 years has been fighting the globalist uh, incremental takeover of the United States. He's also the best-selling author of The Creature from Jekyll Island. 
He will be joining us coming up in the third hour today. We will open the phones up uh, as well. Uh, I'm going to get uh, Leanne McAdoo and Gigi Ernetta uh, both in studio uh, here today at the bottom of the next hour because I want to play a short report that Gigi uh, went out and shot on the road in Austin yesterday afternoon versus a uh, report that Leanne McAdoo went out on the streets of Austin yesterday uh, and shot uh, that were both on the nightly news last night. Uh, they went downtown and found one group of trendies who said they want the NSA spying on everything they do, kind of like uh, the Miss USA pageant where they were all this year begging to be spied on for everyone's safety, versus people out calling for the impeachment of Obama for illegal NSA spying. The light in their eyes, the intelligence of the pro-liberty people who are as different from the Obama sheeple as uh, living are from the dead. So we're going to get both of our reporters, both of our uh, female reporters, who do a great job, in studio with us at the bottom of the next hour. And, and, and then I'm going to send all my reporters out uh, on the street to, to really go out and challenge people. Uh, on average in Austin, about 60% say they want to have the Fourth Amendment annihilated and think it's wonderful to have the government watching everything they do. And I want to send my reporters out to say, okay, but Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia did that. And why did we have a Bill of Rights and Constitution saying that was illegal? And by the way, do you know that's illegal? How dare you? you know, I'm so busy working on Obama Deception 2 and doing the radio show and doing radio interviews and working on administrative stuff and trying to build new sites and apps and all the stuff I'm trying to administer here that I don't have a lot of time to go out on the streets, but I need to go out on the streets. And I think, I said I do this a few weeks ago, so I guess the time has come, the time is now. Uh, I should probably go out in the next couple days and do it, maybe even today, and go up to uh, citizens' cars and say, mind if I search your vehicle? Uh, I'm part of you know, a Homeland Security uh, militia brigade. Of course, they could then spin it and say that... Uh, why, you're impersonating the FEMA Youth Corps. Just to illustrate, though, how pliant some people are. And then go over to police cars and just say, I'm part of the citizen uh, tattletale squad uh, for Obama. And I'm going to be like, well, wait, I'm just volunteering. I mean, they've got billboards going up all over the country saying, report your neighbors, uh, you know, showing uh, sexy ladies pushing it. It's all over the news that this is the new freedom. So, officer, I'm just asking voluntarily, do you mind if I search your car? You might be a terrorist, too. I mean, we're, oh, why are you offended, officer? I wouldn't send my crew out to do this because they might arrest me because so many people are brainwashed and arrogant. If I run into Austin cops and know who I am, they'll probably start laughing at me. But, I mean, I want to find one who, who, will, who will get offended. Because you film police around the country, a lot of them flip out and come arrest you outside of law. And go, well, why are you offended? I mean... You got face scanning cameras up, license plate reading cameras. You got whole databases on people. It's all completely illegal. And you're doing that forcibly with my tax money, enslaving me with my own fruit of my labor being extracted and used to build this giant corporate Borg singularity takeover nightmare grid. I'm here trying to defend your rights, officer. So I'm asking to illustrate absurdity. Let me search your vehicle. Well, no, you're not going to search my vehicle. What do you have to hide, officer? What do I have to hide? Get up against the wall. And at that point, I'm going to say, so it's so shocking that I'm asking to search your vehicle. You're, you're trying to put me in handcuffs right now. This is going to be powerful, folks. Uh, and I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out and do this. Mark Dice did it a few months ago, something similar, where he went out on the streets. We posted the video on Infowars.com. Forget the exact name of it. Maybe try to pull it up. And, and he went out and said, I'm here with, uh, you know, the citizens, uh, Obama uh, volunteers. And they said, see something, say something. Mind if I search your car? Mind if I search your person? And some people said, yeah, go ahead. Because they, their religion is being compliant. Their religion is bending over. Their religion, as long as you say for Obama, we should arrest all the gun owners and put them in FEMA camps for Obama. Oh, yes. Nine out of ten said yes. We should euthanize all the old people for Obama. Kill them. Yes, for Obama. 
uh, we should uh, open the borders completely up and bring in world government for Obama. Yes, for Obama. And I found that as well with Democrats, especially. I could say, we're going to kill babies up to age three for Obama. In fact, this has been done by multiple groups. Yes, for Obama. Because their whole identity is with, hey, I'm not intellectual. I don't have any real historical perspective. I don't know uh, wh what I culturally stand for. I don't know who my ancestors were. I don't know about all the f wars and the countless people that died in the dark for the light of liberty. Many people have died in the dark in defense of liberty, folks, alone, in pain, being tortured, being killed, bleeding to death on foreign fields and right here in this country. I mean, it is incredible the human history of the fight against gangs that get together and call themselves governments and that call themselves systems and unleash hell every time. And now the hell, if there was a cup, a big stinking scrofulous cess cup of, of disease and tyranny and the Constitution's being imploded and the table is rocking and rumbling and only sloshing tyranny has come out so far. And the sheep will see it and get scared. They really know what's going on deep down in their feeble minds. But they decide to serve it and comply with it in a mass Stockholm syndrome, believing that that will then somehow give them a reprieve. So the cup is sloshing and only, only a few uh, drops had splattered in the last decade or so. Now, now larger uh, projections of it are splattering on the table. But still the cup's about... 85% full, and it's getting ready to completely tump over. And by the way, if we let it tump over, it suddenly becomes a bottomless cup, like a fire hose is attached to it, spewing evil. And as soon as the public goes under the intimidation, goes under the fear, and says, I will comply, that's when the three-year-old is in the front yard, and the man says, I have the candy. And the little kid's scared their instinct is run, but they say, come here now. And the little kid gets in the van and is never seen again. Is tortured in a basement for months. That's, that's what those, those, those demons do. It's, it's, a, it's an archetype. It's a spirit. Even if we believe in God, it's a spirit. And, and that's what the globalists want. They want full control so societally they can have us all in the basement. And, 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 and it torture our innocence. The real target is innocence and beauty and goodness. They want to kill the unicorn, folks. That's because that's what they do. They're demons. Use the analogy of legend. And they use well-meaning Miss America, Miss USA. They use all the well-meaning, shallow people out there to sell their agenda of torture, war, invasion, surveillance, all of it, because innocence is the face of it. They say, we're doing this to protect innocence, but it's actually the opposite. They're doing it to sell absolute hell on earth. Everywhere the globalists are in control, they bring down societies, they eviscerate the family, they cut off the food and water, they starve the population, they bring in absolute bondage and poverty and starvation and pain. The wages of the New World Order are death. The fruits of the New World Order, its wavelength, its signature, its spirit is pain and suffering and dishonor and backstabbing and mental illness and the collapse of all that is good. The end of light, the coming of the stench of death. The journey is the destination. And I have tried as best I can to warn you of these facts. Coming up today, uh, we're going to have uh, those two reporters in uh, for probably two segments, 25 minutes or so, the last 25 minutes or 27 minutes to be technical, uh, of the second half of the uh, next hour to illustrate uh, people that are out speaking for liberty and freedom and justice, who have an instinct, who have a spirit of defense, of freedom and, and who understand the grave danger we're entering versus the supine, sycophantic, dead eyes of the servants of evil. 
So we're going to be uh, contrasting uh, those two different those two different types coming up with these reports. G. Edward Griffin, as I said, uh, oh, look, Homeland Security criticized over sexy spy ads. See something, say something campaign has caught zero terrorist. And what do they use? Uh, they use good looking, quote, minority women. Uh, who report in the billboards and TV ads on exclusively white males and white women. So they're also racially branding that. And, and of course, you've heard them. Uh, they're now saying that one of the uh, Boston bombing patsies, Tamerlan Zarnev, uh, is a right winger. He's, he's not a Muslim extremist now. And it's it, 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 usually you think I talk about myself when I'm in the news. They're back to saying he was an Alex Jones listener just like the AP and others said right after it happened. I'm like, hey, look, they did a drill. Looks like they worked for CIA. Okay, they did. They were being set up, all right. Uh, oh, Alex Jones did it. it, it but, I mean, think I ought to be watching my back? <laughs> so we're going to be getting into all that. And all over the country, they're announcing uh, neighborhood groups, uh, apartments, you name it. You can't have a gun or any other weapon or defend yourself. We're going to cover that first. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all in one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. We don't spy on Americans, is what Obama said. That's the same line of Clapper uh, and, of course, Alexander. Just absolutely incredible lie on record. We're going to go over that. He goes on to say, odds of dying in a terrorist attack, a lot lower than dying in a car accident, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And then Leno says, how about solving problems that brought our country to a halt? Oh, he's solving them. He's shutting down the power plant, shipping the jobs overseas. He's continuing the globalist uh, operation. So we're going to be playing those clips and analyzing that. Uh, but first off, I want to say something here today. If our forebears could see what we were doing right now, if our forebears could look down from heaven or look up from Hades, depending on where they're at, do you think they would be uh, ashamed of all that they fought for so we'd have basic dignity and liberty? In every other culture in the world, whoever was in charge, the nobles, the king, their minions, the sheriff, could just come in your house and have sex with your wife in front of you. That was their divine right. They could uh, kill you if, if you looked at them wrong. Uh, and the entire world was in total poverty except for the elites and their armored compounds. And it was just thousands of years of degradation and dehumanization since humans stopped being agrarian uh, hunter-gatherers hunter-gatherers and then agrarians. It allowed centralization and allowed a ruling class of parasites who learned how to manipulate people. And civilization has been infested ever since. And the Renaissance and the Enlightenment and the, the, the Christian values, whether you like them or not, brought forward ideas that created a light in the world in a dark age. And it created the science, the technology we have today that's now been co-opted and used to enslave. And now we're seeing the mass domestication. But, but there's no doubt from a historical perspective, and no historian denies this now. In fact, it's all over the news now that we're a corrupt empire, we're a tyranny. But that's for people that know how to read and people that know how to wipe their noses and know how to tie their shoelaces. You have got a large part of the population that are a bunch of TV heads who literally have imprinted from birth on the sitcom type people that act like gibbering idiots. 
and who have no idea the world they're entering. You know, in England, in many areas of Europe, if you defend yourself with your fist in your home while being assaulted by a robber, you go to jail. If gypsies rob your house and you defend yourself, you're arrested and put in jail longer than a murderer would be. Uh, if gypsies or other groups steal your travel trailer, they get to keep it. That was in the news last week. Because the only group that is targeted is the law-abiding milk cow citizens. And I've had members of parliament on from England to talk about this. How most of the social services are foreigners that don't even speak English there. This is a plan, folks. This is a takeover. When they're done taking over, folks, look out. There's all these groups that have been allowed to run wild. They're going to get lined up and shot. But right now, they're bringing down the society and demoralizing us. Here's an article out of News 9, NBC, out of Colorado. Castle Rock, retired Marine Art Dorsch says, he, I want to get him on, says his Second Amendment rights are in danger. His apartment complex, by the way, they held out that he was allowed to be armed when he first rented it. So if any lawyer knew what they were doing, uh, we ought to tell this old guy, 77-year-old retired Marine and others, that they've got at least until their current lease is up to get out. The apartment is on record lying, saying you got to leave right now if you don't do it. That's all just social engineering. His apartment complex, the Oakwood Apartments in Castle Rock, sent out a notice telling all residents to get rid of their guns. But all other weapons, it's like England's trying to ban butcher knives. The 77-year-old retired U.S. Marine Corps veteran uh, sent a news tip to Nine Wants to Know, saying he's afraid he'll be homeless if he wants to comply. The letter went out to residents on August 1st, and says they have until October 1st to comply with updated community policies. It's policies. On page two is a brand new provision saying firearms and weapons are prohibited, including baseball bats, knives, anything. Boy, I tell you, you know, they're going to put this in, everybody's going to move out, and then criminals are going to just absolutely go crazy, just like Chicago, just like New York, just like... Uh, D.C., that all have the highest crime rates, not in the country, in the world. The highest, worse than Mexico, their worst cities. Worse than, you know, Tijuana in places, ladies and gentlemen, is Chicago, D.C., and then New York City. Because they've taken the citizens' guns. And uh, they go on to say he's even a license to conceal carry, but can't live there. This is the model, folks, where, where they're going to make you get insurance to have a gun and they make it so expensive you can't do it. They're coming after us. They're breaking this country's will right now. The federal government is not the federal government. It is an alien, foreign banking, paramilitary force stabbing the country in the heart right now as fast and as hard as they can. I mean, this is just open evil everywhere. We're going to tell you more about it when we come back. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. 
The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> Eleven a.m. to two p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, they were able to find the article where there are calls in England to ban people even being able to own butcher knives. You'll get a special uh, license uh, over in the good old UK to be able to have a knife. And of course, that goes back to feudalism. Uh, if you go back uh, just to England, only five hundred years ago or so, uh, you had to have a license to have a knife that had a point on it. Uh, because you couldn't have the slaves being able to fight back. Uh, if you had a dog, you had to have a license. Uh, and if it was, say, a sheep dog, it had to have uh, some of the digits, some of the pads cut off the foot. This was done all over Europe, uh, so that it couldn't chase the king's game. And it didn't matter if you were starving to death in the winter and had to give most of your food and what you produced to the local noble, who was, you know, two feet taller than you from generations of getting plenty of food. And, and then they even wrote manuals on how to starve people generationally uh, to mentally retardate them so they'd be more controllable. That's all part of their long-term globalist operation. It's just an instinct of uh, feudalistic uh, domination. Now they do it through the vaccines and the GMOs and the stuff in the water and all the malnutrition with the uh, fast food and the rest of it. Uh, but to make a long story short, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was documented, many documented cases, if you were caught... Uh, you know, they, they rode by and smelled meat and they would come in and look in your cook pot and catch you with a rabbit bone. They would normally take one of your kids out and slit their throat. And hey, I say they did it for everybody's own safety. I support government. I'm not anti-government. I think our ancestors were wrong to fight against that. And I think they all deserve to have their throats slit. And hey, I've seen a lot of people on Infowars.com and on the YouTube. It's a minority, but they're an active, vicious minority. Uh, up there uh, saying uh, that that little two-year-old girl, Alexandria Hill, uh, who got her head bashed in, um, reportedly by the social worker uh, that, that had her in her clutches, uh, that, uh, you know, that's the parents' fault for smoking pot and 
people reporting them for smoking pot, uh, and that, uh, you know, it's, it's their fault. So, see, it's not your fault uh, that that little girl's uh, uh, dead government. No, you're right. It's, it's the parents. Good job. And it's not your fault kids are seven times more likely to be abused physically or sexually or die uh, in the federally controlled foster care systems across the country. You're right. Uh, everything's the people's fault. Nothing is your fault. I guess the 20-point IQ reduction on average from 60 years of fluoride in the water, Harvard study. Guess that's our fault, too. I guess uh, the diabetes up 3,000 plus percent. I guess that's our fault, too. I guess the uh, Gardasil sterilizing people and killing them all over the country and Japan and India banning it. I guess that's our fault, too. Everything's the, the individual's fault. Nothing is the government's fault. And it's going to be your fault when the government takes your government pension funds. J just remember that. Uh, just remember that, and uh, you're real good, you know, up there talking bad about a, a dead two-year-old. There's also real people on the profile, uh, black racist, uh, on YouTube, because I've seen these same handles for a long time and seen their videos. They're, these are real people celebrating the death of a two-year-old white child because they agree with, uh, what was the name, Dr. Khalid Muhammad, that you kill the women, you kill the children, because... The white woman is the military manufacturing center. And every nine months, she lays down on her back and reinforcements roll out. People thought I was joking a few weeks ago when I actually played that clip of the new Black Panther Party leader. The, that's an exact quote. By the way, we're going to play Leno, but I want to get to the, uh, I want to get to the, um, that clip since I said that and, and play that. You know, where's Al Sharpton decrying that? No, 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 because, again, it's all meant to create divide and conquer. If you say it's, we're going to brown bag it, that's racist, even though no one ever said brown paper had anything to do with race. It means to do the little shopping bag, the little bags you bought to get your lunch in. But it doesn't matter. All the stuff that isn't really racist, that is what we obsess on, not the mass abortion, not the globalist operation against all of us. It is a scientific, murderous culture aimed at all humans. Now, speaking of Jay Leno, you know, Jay Leno, um, we got contacted about a month ago about would I be interested to go on there, and I said, of course, and then I never heard anything back. I would actually fly out there to be on Jay Leno's show. That would, I mean, he's played clips of me on there even 16 years ago and then earlier this year, multiple times this year. But I, So technically, I've been on the show playing clips, but I would like to technically, physically uh, go out there. That would be fun. And I'm told behind the scenes, uh, Jay's a listener. But we'll see if that happens because you need to call me up and get me on. But, but you know, Jay says um, to, uh, you know, in the clip, the full clip's up on Infowars.com, how about solving problems that brought our country to a halt? It's also up on DrudgeReport.com. Uh, and, and Obama went on to say odds of dying in a terrorist attack a lot lower than dying in a car accident, unfortunately. And I see what Obama's saying. Unfortunately, there's hundreds of thousands of car accident deaths a year and not even 100 terrorist attacks, but they're getting rid of our entire system because they ran the attacks and, and run al-Qaeda today. But just the way it comes off, yes, unfortunately. And the, yes, you, if you could get away with staging some more events, you would. The problem is whether it's the underwear bombing or the Boston bombing, we're all watching. Or whether it's the murder of Michael Hastings, we're all watching. And, uh, I mean, it's even in the, again, New York Times, CBS News, people going, oh, this has been done because of the NSA spying to, you know, to legitimize it. Because it's as plain as the nose on your face. But here's Obama. Just like yesterday, I played for Congressman Paul, uh, former Congressman Paul here on the air, and he called them liars. I think that's pretty newsworthy. I think one of my writers ought to write about that, uh, Ron Paul on the show, saying the NSA head is a liar about not spying on Americans. Because it's on record they do. But they know you won't go look, look up the admitted congressional reports. You won't go look up the Reuters report, now three days old, where they go, okay, it's confirmed. If you talk about marijuana on the phone, it's given to local police. It's all being recorded. It's all totally illegal. It's all selectively enforced. And then Obama lies and says, we don't target we don't spy on Americans. They don't call it spying. They call it the definition of a 36-year-old court case that used to just be the address of where communications came from. And that itself, I believe, is unconstitutional, clearly. They call you talking, you texting, you emailing, faxing, radio, TV, ham radio. That's called signals, and that's called metadata to them. It'd be like if you said, I, I don't kill elephants. I call that a humph-a-lump. And you shoot it with a, with a 
You know, 50 caliber rifle, it falls over you, that's an elephant. No, I call that a hump for lump. Or I call that an Easter bunny with really big flappy ears. Or, or I call that a, a Hogwart. I mean, they, they play all these lawyer games with people. And they sit there laughing at us, just a big a swarm of criminals and, and, and corporate mercenaries and, and, and foreign lobbyists that can come in and literally, I was seeing different metrics, they vary from the articles I've seen, where you give $1,000, you get $200,000 back in government contracts and subsidies. You give $100,000, you get a billion dollars in some cases. I mean, it, it's just, it, it, it is a orgy of robbery and criminality and all of them above the law, just collapse of society, just as former top Secret Service uh, agent Dan Bongino was saying yesterday. Just, just, he said it's a lawless, criminal, organized crime behind the scenes. He's been there guarding the president overseas at all these big global conferences with royalty, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, G20. And he said, you know, I, 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 I obviously can't get into all the stuff I know, but that's why they're breaking into his house and going after him. He's running for Congress because he's seen it, folks. It is total lawless evil. So, so yo, I'm going to protect you. I'm your daddy. What did all these different rap stars come out and say recently? That he's our father, and we should just do whatever he says. Man, when they start calling somebody the father, they called Mao the father, they called Hitler the father, they called Stalin the father, they called Lenin the father, they called Pol Pot the father, they called Fidel Castro the father, they called Julius Caesar the father, the papa. Man, I tell you, I mean, it, it is just grade A tyranny, a bunch of egomaniac people in black uniforms and suits, wearing sunglasses, bugging their eyes out at the public, just strutting around an armed gang, butchering America. And, and, I, and I cannot stress this enough. What you see happening in this country is 180 degrees the polar opposite of a free society. And that is incontrovertible, absolute, 100% fact. And I, I just sit here like an emergency beacon, SOS. <coughs> Reactor will self-destruct. We are following a tyranny pattern that will lead to total collapse and nightmare scenarios of government anarchy, rogue government, alert, Danger, danger, passing failsafe point, approaching event horizon of no turning back. Alert, alert, please move to prepare yourselves with firearms, storable foods, friends and family who are aware of the takeover program. Alert, alert, do everything you can simultaneously, offensively to reverse the criminal bloom. The criminal viral bloom, alert, alert. I mean, if America was in a hospital bed, there's doctors, nurses all around, they're pumping adrenaline into the heart. I mean, we got flat line. I'm sitting there going, we gotta do something. Uh, they're coming in. I mean, the, the entire institutions are burning down. Like Bongino said yesterday. I mean, it's all going down right now. It's burning, it's blowing. I mean, the shields are down, we're overrun. Everything's on fire. And then you've got, and I mean, the walls are falling. The enemy forces are getting ready to roll in the full operation. You think it's bad so far? We've just seen the Vanguard scouts. And then I've got my fellow Americans who are into it, believing the propaganda, going, bring down the wall. Stop trying to hold it up. Alex Jones is bad for saying the NSA shouldn't spy on us. They're keeping USA! us safe. USA! They're out there USA! trying to get the wall to drop, the shield to drop. The shields are just going in and out, man, and they're starting to fall, and they're cheering. We're going to get our free stuff. We're going to get all our goodies. Folks, you're not going to get anything but absolute implosion on record post-industrial society hell on earth. And these people are so weak-minded, they're going to love that. Because all they want to do is imagine that they're winners. Imagine that they're on a winning team. You know, we need to put all the gun owners in FEMA camps for Obama. Well, let me sign that thing right now. Yeah, we need to arrest these Tea Partiers. Buddy, you don't have to tell me. Yeah, we're going to take everybody over 70 and euthanize them just before they get sick. Well, yeah, I'm almost 70 myself. I, I don't want to be alive anymore. I mean, that's a quote from Mark Dice's last video. These are real people, folks. And they're like, yeah, I want to die. Because they said for Obama, it's a trance. 
It's like mind control where they tell the woman who's been, you know, hypnotized under drugs and stuff, take your clothes off, you know, have sex with me. They do it. They don't even remember they did it, folks. And I'm telling you, the public is in a trance. It's for Obama. We're going to put people in FEMA camps. Absolutely. Now, you understand we're going we're to put them in work camps. We're going to take the Tea Party to, you know, we're going to arrest them. Yeah, buddy, you've got to tell me I want to arrest them. I mean, they're ready, folks. They're ready to come for us. And it is so sick. I mean, it is like, it is, if you, if the general public knew any basic historical information as in a context, if they had any, any, any upbringing of basic history and common sense, people would understand how just sitting here, staying in this country and not, because all the stuff I've done, believe me, I'm on the top of the list. The fact that I haven't evacuated is, is a bold act. But I realize there's nowhere to run long term, and this is the great historical contest, so I'm very honored to be in this position. But people need to understand, this is the real deal. We're meant to be brought down. By the way, the government's moving forward on many fronts to take our liberties. We want gridlock under the separation of powers to stop a man on a white horse, a Napoleon Bonaparte, taking control of our society. I want to take calls for the first 30 minutes of the next hour and cover news. Um, the toll-free number to join us for first-time callers today on this Wednesday edition, first-time caller Wednesday, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. And we'll also get into Gardasil uh, on record. Oopsie, we didn't know it sterilized women. Oh, you didn't, didn't, didn't know that? Be like, again, shooting an elephant with an elephant gun and going, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> just, I just be like jumping off a cliff and you know, breaking your legs and going, I, I, I didn't know falling 200 feet would do that. Uh, so we're going to be uh, breaking all of that down uh, today uh, as well. And we're going to look at uh, the post-constitutional America and what that's going to mean for everybody. And we're also going to look uh, geopolitically some of the other things that are happening. But on the NSA front, uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation has looked at the Reuters story and uh, other uh, uh, admissions by Congress that indeed the DEA and NSA team up to share intelligence leading to secret use of surveillance and ordinary investigations. Yeah, I didn't need to know uh, about a year ago when they built a building out in the countryside where I live and put up antennas and NSA style scramblers and I saw the type of trucks and vehicles, people that were there and then I asked around uh, to the local homeowners association, they go, oh no, it, the, the, yeah, they bypassed the local ordinances. That's a government front facility. And then I, I went a little bit longer and found out it was a DEA connected group. But yeah, no, I mean, I even have a DEA NSA substation by my house. I mean, this is just the new America, a bunch of people with our tax money playing secret agent. Briefly here on InfoWarsStore.com, we have the lowest prices, as low as they'll let us sell it for, of the best uh, pure brown seaweed from the southern hemisphere, so it's uh, clean compared to the northern uh, polluted stuff, with the amazing health effects uh, that have been reported all up at InfoWarsStore.com. And getting these high-quality vitamins and minerals from us, you also support the broadcast while supporting the health of your family. Uh, we also have up at InfoWarsStore.com uh, the Health Rangers brand uh, of just amazing curcumin, if that's how you pronounce it. And he's got all the studies, mainline studies, on the incredible cancer preventative uh, that it is. We're not, we're not saying it heals cancer, but it, it's, it's, it's the most powerful. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's the turmeric. Uh, it's just got a whole bunch of stuff. And it's all up there. I've gone and done the research. Talk to all the experts. We carry the best stuff uh, from Inner Food, uh, from Mike Adams and Natural News, from everybody. The best stuff is at InfoWarsStore.com. Now you can get all the amazing longevity products discounted at InfoWarsHealth.com. And they have the new uh, non GMO, certified organic, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. 2.0 available at InfoWarsHealth.com. And there's also the toll free number there on the site as well. 
I was just eating raw horseradish during the break. It's hard to try to eat lunch in three minute breaks, and I was just ate a whole bunch of it. I'm a I'm a peppers and horseradish freak, but I just ate like a huge spoonful of it raw, which I like, but it kind of did did something to my throat. Long story short, you can call 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277 if you have any questions uh, about the hundreds and hundreds of incredible products at InfoWarsHealth.com. And again, also at InfoWarsStore.com, we have all the books, all the films, the very best research materials, the very best uh, InfoWars magazine subscriptions are in bulk at cost. Uh, Waco, a new revelation, a new updated version on Blu-ray. There's just, I don't know, over 500 great items now up on InfoWarsStore.com, and it is your purchases that make the broadcast and the news division and everything we're doing here possible. Your memberships at PrisonPlanet.tv, you name it, we couldn't do it without you. It takes millions and millions of dollars every year to run this operation, and uh, we couldn't do it without your support, so it's a win-win-win shopping with the good guys. And we couldn't do it without our AM and FM affiliates. Please support their local sponsors, or please become a sponsor, whether you're listening, again, in Las Vegas or Southern California, or whether you're listening in Chicago, whether you're listening in Rochester, New York, or whether you're listening in Austin, Texas, on our over 160 AM and FM affiliates across the country. Please be sure and support those local sponsors and let them know why they're being supported by you and become a sponsor if you're a local business because that's a big part of this media war is we don't have taxpayer money and Pentagon and CIA money like NBC and MSNBC and CNN. We only have what you support us with buying the products, supporting our sponsors. So please click on the sponsors as well at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, and again, if you hear me endorsing a product on air or on the site, that means I use it and I believe in it. We have a lot of other great sponsors too, but it, it, you know, that are on the network and also on the site. But if I'm not endorsing it, I I I, I can't absolutely vouch for it. And that's just something that I always add there, which most advertising outfits uh, that have advertising don't do. All right, second hour, massively jam-packed with news. Your calls and guests, stay with us.